Okay, now we're getting serious. Um, this is a, a demo patch. Actually, I stole this from you. You did. Um, yeah, this is good. I think you, you stole it from me originally, though. I stole and it I from stole you. And I stole it from somebody else. Well, I stole it from you and spruced it up. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's stealing each other's stuff. Because that's what you do in Max. Making it slightly you better. You find the help and you borrow the information from yeah. it. Yeah, borrow. Right. Steal, <laughs> borrow, appropriate. <laughs> Reuse. Uh, reuse, yes. You recycle. Re remix. Repurpose. Yes, all these things. <laughs> okay, um, what we had made this as like a handy dandy sort of like, this is all the shortcuts, like how to really use Max quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. there's some objects that are so common that you use so often that they've mapped them to single letters on the keyboard that all you have to do when your patch is unlocked, all you have to do is hit that key and it instantiates that object. So first, what do I mean by lock and unlock? I was just going to start there. Go for it. You do it. No, Okay, fine. Lock and unlock, right? So when your patch is locked, you can use it. You can do things with the stuff. But when it's unlocked is when you can edit and change it. So what I'm getting at there is that, let's say the patch that we're looking at right now, if it's locked, I can click on the button, I can click on the toggle and turn it on and off, but I can't move those things around. If the patch was unlocked, then I can click and I can move that button around. Yeah, or, so I can move this button, but I can't click on it. So knowing how to lock and unlock your patch and when to unlock and lock your patch is critical, right? So yeah. obviously we have three different ways to do that. You can command E. Re yellow box here. Yellow command, box, command right, e. yellow box, command E. You can click at the very bottom left-hand corner. There's a little lock that you This want, stupid little button. When it's locked. It's super tiny and really hard to get to. Really hard to get to, yeah. which we don't like. I'm a command E friend. Um, or you can command click into any empty space on the patch. Yeah. you can click. So I do command E. I basically just leave my left hand on the command E keys. But actually, since I've been using Max for so long, I've mapped the right button on my two-button mouse to produce a command E signal. Okay. So it's like, I just do this. You'll see me locking and unlock it, unlocking really rapidly. It's because my mouse is like has this secret command in it. Um, okay, what to say about lock and unlock? It's not the same as stop and go. No. The patch is running regardless of whether it's time. locked and unlocked. It's more like edit and... Use. Use, right. It's like, I think lock and unlock is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> lock and unlock. Okay, so... Um, Patches are always like locked or unlocked. Uh, they're always running though. Okay, so um, what are some really important objects? The B key will create a button. The button generates this bang message that we've talked about. It's sort of, you'll make lots of buttons, buttons in every patch. I can't imagine a patch that doesn't have a button in it. Right. Okay, toggle, I can definitely imagine patches that don't have toggles, yeah. but a toggle just lets you turn something on or off. And it's weird, toggle is actually like literally creating a zero and a one, mm -hmm. the number zero and one. So on the computer, one typically means on, zero typically means off. And so a toggle generates a one or a zero. And if you were to pipe toggle into like the print window, you would see it's actually producing a zero and a one. Uh, right now it's not connected to anything, but it's, it's graphical. It's got this X that lights up when you have, when you're toggled on and off. Um, you'll use toggles all the time. Um, Every programming language has some sort of commenting ability or a way to leave text that doesn't really do anything. It's mm -hmm. just like it's just a reminder or some kind of note. So C creates a comment. So like I can hit the C key here and it just generates this comment that I can type into. Um, uh, N creates a new empty object. It's just a blank object. You have to specify which object by typing its name in. Um, F creates this floating point number. Uh, floating point means decimal point. I creates an integer number box with uh, uh, with uh, number, no, no decimal, decimal point, right? Just whole numbers. S will create a slider. A slider just um, has a range. In this case, it's I think it defaults to zero to one twenty seven. Mm -hmm. So and you can click and uh, you know interactively sort of move that slider around. What else? A is the attribute inspector, which maybe is a bit advanced uh, quite yet, but a lot of objects have attributes, and when you connect this to that object, you can discover what those attributes are. Let's just connect that to this and see what happens. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's all these uh, attributes to this uh, 
um, well, easy DAC number uh, object, but okay, let's uh, move on. I think this we're is gonna too come weird. back to I th yeah. yeah, we'll come back to the attribute we'll come back to attribute. Yeah. Um, easy DAC, easy DAC. DAC is a digital audio, uh, digital analog. What is it? Con digital analog converter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, uh, the DAC in Max lets you take a s audio signal and send it out your speakers. Or like the Easy ADC analog to digital converter lets you take your input from your microphone and use it inside of Max. So you, basically, this is what do we call <laughs> the speaker box and the microphone, microphone box. box? Right. Right. So really, their names are Easy DAC and Easy ADC. Um, I love Cycling Seventy Four. Just a bunch of nerds making sometimes bad decisions about <laughs> the names of things. Like, so nobody crazy. knows what a DAC or an ADC is. It's like the most non-intuitive thing. They should call yeah. it speaker box and microphone box. <laughs> or they just call it speaker and microphone. Why don't they just name them speaker and microphone? Maybe they have a really good reason. No, they don't. You don't know that. I, well, Let's move on. I know some of them. <laughs> um, all right, so what else? We've got help. these. Help is, like, critical. Help, yeah, help's really good. We're at six minutes, though. Jeez, we've got to hurry. Help. Okay, so any object in Max, like I'll click on this number box object, then I'll go up to help. Um, open number you. help. Go ahead. If you're locked, you cannot get help. If you're locked, you can't get help. Okay, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah, actually have to click on. Unlock. Right, so it doesn't know what object is selected because there's no object selected because I'm locked. If I unlock and I click on any object, Maybe. I can go up here and I can say open number help. So it's opening the help file that's associated with whatever the currently selected object is. If I was getting help on uh, the toggle, and let me do it the, the uh, I'm gonna use this, this keyboard shortcut here. So this up arrow means Command, Shift, and H. And if you hit Command, Shift, H, or what I call the Vulcan nerve pinch, on any object, Command, Shift, H, it will open up the max patch for that object. So a max, so, this, uh, the great thing about Max is the help system is made of Max patches. So you mm -hmm. can unlock the Max patch and change it. It's a little bit dangerous because you can mess up your own help yeah, patches. Yeah, because then it's going to ask you if you want to save it. And right. you definitely don't want to save You should you... probably shouldn't save your own. You shouldn't alter your own help patches, although you can. So this is the help patch associated with the toggle object, which is kind of cool. Um, now, uh, you can copy and paste right out of that into... Uh, Command C for Command copy. Command C, Command V, right. Yeah. Uh, and that gets us to this next thing here, Command C and Command V. So any part of a Max patch, you can like take this part here, Command C, copy it, you can Command V, paste it, and then you can just put it somewhere else. And I'll delete that. So mm -hmm. Command C, Command V, you can copy your entire you know Max patch and paste it into a different patch. Um, oh, you can duplicate things. Um, if you option drag on something, you just make a copy of it, which is really useful when you want to make lots of copies of something. So now option is also the alt key. For oh yeah, users. Windows users, it's the alt key. Alt. Um, so we did inspector. No, we didn't do inspector. This little I key is the inspector, and a lot of objects have attributes, like we said before, uh, with the attribute inspector. Whoops, I accidentally clicked on the other. All right, so if I click on this object and I click on the inspector, this little I, it opens up the inspector for that object. And the inspector will show me every attribute related to this object. Um, we're running long, but this is a pretty complex yeah. thing. So we'll but just go as long as we have yeah, to. Yeah, let's just go. Um, all right, so for instance, uh, highlighted text color, uh, background color, like I could change the background color of this number box to like, you know, bright red or something. Wait, let's see brighter colors. Let's change it to standard and make it like red. Okay, so now this object is red. Uh, I could change the text color to like green and now we have a really terrible Christmassy number box. So, um, this is <laughs> yeah. so that's the inspector. Every object can be inspected. Almost every object has some kind of attributes that you can inspect and change. Uh, and if you change them and save your patch, the changes will be saved in your yeah. patch. Um, okay, so let's see, copy and paste we talked about, mm -hmm. aligning objects. All right, this is really simple and not super important, but let's see, like I'm gonna make several number boxes here and I'm just option clicking on them and putting them on. I could select all of them and uh, Command Y will align them. So I could, and that is auto align, Command Y. 
So let's just do it, and it aligns them. And now you can, we didn't even talk about distribute, but you can distribute them horizontally, which like spaces them out nicely. Right. Yeah. And you can, I didn't know this until recently, but you can then later, you can change the spacing uh -huh. and it stays even. Yeah. That's a clever. See, you feature. have to understand that both David and I are like max clean. Yeah. We like our things Look how clean organized. This is. So, um, yeah, we like to avoid uh, <clears throat> un unlock shock. Yeah. <laughs> unlock shock. <clears throat> they call it unlock. <clears throat> unlock shock. Oh my God, my voice. Hold on a second. Is that bubbly water? So while you're drinking, we had we did lock and unlock. We covered the inspector. We talked about help, a line object, copy and paste, max console. Not in this two. We haven't talked about it in this two. We before. didn't, but we talked about the console. It's yeah. just where things get printed to. This is it's this little information hamburger icon here. The if there's know, an error. Command it'll command. also be there. Yeah. Um, you can select just patch cords if you option drag and you want to select just the cords. That's fine. Uh, zooming in and out, so you can zoom in and out. Like I could zoom to like 300%, and now I have to scroll around. Um, I, you know, I don't zoom a lot. Do you zoom? I mean, sometimes I zoom out. Um, sometimes it's critical, especially for your students, because sometimes they'll open one of your patches. And they, right, their and screen's not as big as mine. Their screen's mm -hmm. not set the same, so. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, organizing cords. You can segment patch cords, uh, as in, like, instead of having them. Like, let me connect a button to another button. Um, segmenting patch cords, which I have a whole tutorial about, segmented mm -hmm. patch cords. If I click on this patch cord and I do Command, what is it, Command Y? Mm -hmm. Then it's, it like turns it into a more angular, sort of organized thing. And it stays like organized as I move it around here. So, Which can um, be both good and bad. Good and bad, but I have a whole philosophy okay. of segmented patch cords that we'll talk about later. What do we miss here, is that it? I think that's it. Okay.